Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. So yesterday I restarted my Breath of the Wild game on my Switch and just really taking my time and enjoying it. Like, it was such a chill Sunday. I spent most of the morning playing Animal Crossing because, you know, it was tweaking my island a little more and decorating my Zora's domain with some like winter things and um, I found uh, some glowing moss um, recipe you know and I was able to get some blue glowing moss boulder things like all around the domain and it looks kind of neat <laughs> like I love it <laughs> So anyway, I had, I had gotten kind of bored with the whole Animal Crossing thing, so I thought, well, I know Tears of the Kingdom is coming out next year. Why not just uh, restart my Breath of the Wild game and get back into that? And this is the fourth time I've restarted the game <laughs> since I bought it back in 2017. My longest run on it was about three years. Um... And then, you know, just kind of here and there. The first restart was in 2017. It was when the Switch launched, you know. Um, I was playing it on the Wii U when it first came out. And then when the Switch dropped, you know, we waited and we thought about it. And finally, we were just like, you know what? Let's go ahead and just take the plunge and do the trade-in and get the Switch. Why the heck not, you know? And so yeah, I had to restart the game and we switched consoles. But yeah, like, I never actually beat the game. <laughs> all these years and I have never defeated Ganon. I have gotten all the Divine Beasts and um, I still think the Camel is the hardest one, you know. And then I tried to do all of the Koroks blind. And I got into the 500s before giving up. And at that point, it felt like looking for a needle in a haystack, you know. Almost just impossible, it seemed. And that's like, there was less than 400 left to go, you know. And <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> it's so hard. It's so hard. I'm not good at math, but... In any case, I don't know if 400 was the right word, but I was definitely in the 500s when I stopped. And then I bought the DLC, you know, um, so I restarted my game thinking, you know, I'm going to play on Heroes mode and this and that, and I found out you didn't have to restart your game to get to Heroes mode, so there goes all my Koroks. <laughs> and, um... Heroes mode really um, was intimidating, and I never got off the Great Plateau, <laughs> so I put it away for a really, really long time. <laughs> and then yesterday, had this just wild hair to just restart it, you know. But Tears of the Kingdom is coming out next year, and this is a great way to just kind of like relive, you know, the Breath of the Wild days before. The new game drops, and uh, you know it's so funny having restarted it as many times as I have and played it for as long as I have. It's just still such a good game, man. Like I got off the plateau and I landed on a on a stone talus, and I had no idea that the talus was even that close to the um to the plateau, you know, I didn't even know it even existed, I didn't know it was there, you know, it's just, it's just funny, it's like, you think you've explored the entire game and then right out of the gate, something new right in your face, you know, that's the beauty of this game, man, and it's funny because I was just talking to, um, George from Gaming My Whole Life today about open world games and I was talking about Breath of the Wild, you know, and, um, just open world games in general and I said like I love them because like all open world games like I love the exploration of it I like that you know gosh they're just so immersive and 
You never know what you're going to find. Even years later, they can still surprise you. And it, every time you turn the game on, it feels like a whole new experience. And that's how, that's how a lot of video games are for me, honestly. Open world or not, like, I just, I just love them so much, you know. And even in this one, like, <laughs> I went to Kakariko Village. And you're supposed to go to Hatino after Kakariko. But instead, I just made a beeline for Ankala. And I found myself in a part of Ankala that I had never, ever explored. And I had got real excited. And I was like, what the heck is this place? And then I saw all these, like, guardians just all over the stinking place. And I was like, I gotta get the heck out of here. <laughs> I'm not ready. <laughs> Not me with my stick and my axe. <laughs> About to take on the world, right? <laughs> but the good news is that I did make it to the lab, you know, early on. So I activated that shrine to quick, to warp back to it when I make it to Hatino. And then they're like, hey, you gotta go talk to Robbie. And I'll be like, yeah, shortcut. I'm <laughs> just gonna warp over there. <laughs> so anyways, I don't know, that's just, uh... Just what I was doing yesterday and it got me wanting to draw you know and the fairies in the game are so so pretty and they're big mommies they're big giant ladies I love them and they're so shiny and so extra and funny so that's what I drew today and um, yeah I don't know I guess I'm kind of like in an artistic rut at the moment. Where like, I know I said I was going to do like the animation video. And that ended up being way harder to do than I thought it was going to be. Like, gosh, 56 I think it was. 56 drawings and, or frames or whatever you want to call them just to make an 8 second video. I was like, wow. <laughs> and it wasn't even that good. <laughs> so jank. <laughs> yeah, I, I didn't exactly enjoy the animating process. But it doesn't mean I'm not going to ever do another one. It just means that uh, it was more than what I thought it was going to end up being. And I have a lot of learning to do. That's for dang sure. <laughs> But, other than that, I mean, on my list I've got my last shadow box. I have a switch up avoid fan art that I've been wanting to do for like two years now. And I still watch switch up pretty regularly. I don't comment hardly anymore, but I do like to watch the videos. And um, they've just gotten so popular. They've got like, what, over a quarter million followers now, and it almost feels like, why, why comment? They're not going to see my comment anyways, you know? <laughs> but I do still like them. They're great guys. Uh, great content, you know? Um, so I've got that fan art I was thinking about doing. And a soap sculpture for Among Us with a bacon hat, which was suggested by... Someone who watched my soap sculpture Among Us video. <laughs> so there's that too. But uh, like it's weird. Like I feel like drawing. It's I got these three things here, but it's like I don't know. <laughs> Isn't that weird? Like you feel like doing something, but you don't know what you want to do. <laughs> So yeah, maybe something will inspire me and like today, I mean like, I don't know, like I was in the mood to draw and I think it turned out beautiful and I love it, you know, but um, maybe I'm just in a mood, like in a weird, weird funk. So it'll pass, but it always does, right? Us grown-ups, we get into weird funks sometimes, <laughs> so yeah. Anyways, y'all have a great day. Y'all go play some video games and go out and enjoy it, man. And I'll catch you on the next one. Bye.